FNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. You know, we have Tom on t from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Good. Hi, Tom. How you guys doing? Nico? Doing great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter's outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the Primal Edge. I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Edge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 927-6648 internationally at 727-445-1044 now your hosts nico dehan and paige clark well hey hey good morning i'm paige clark and welcome to living a primal lifestyle and this is where we explore a return to more balanced natural and wild world that's right to recover our natural health and regain our rights and freedoms and i'm nico dehan and it's a beautiful day in downtown St. Petersburg. Woke up with a nice little chill to the air. I had forgot to switch my air over from oh. cold, so my house was 62 degrees. Oh, my goodness, yeah. <laughs> it was like 46 degrees or something like yeah. that uh, this morning. Yeah, so it's uh, a nice change, but uh, a little cold for us. Hey, make sure to subscribe to our Health Signals newsletter. This is news you can use to stay healthier and, and live a healthy life. And yeah. we're, we, we're really proud of it. It's got clickable links. Good stuff. Yeah, a lot of stuff in there, and of course, we'd we'll like to remind you to bring up our Primal Edge, our One Shot Wonder, and this is all uh, uh, fueled by fulvic and humic acid. Nature's and, Miracle uh, Molecules that helps right. you get the good stuff in. And the bad stuff up. Welcome back, Paige. Yeah, you know, I, I missed you. <laughs> I missed you, too. I know. Oops, oops, oops. There were mayor friends. Oh, oh, well, okay. I'll find it in a second. Where'd it go? Yeah, there. <laughs> I'm to be here someplace. Anyways, guys, I, I've been in, I was in Thailand for almost a month, and um, God, what an experience. Yeah. yeah. And it was really cool because I had a little bit of a phone foe. A phone foe? You know, my phone kind of, uh, I was getting this message that the SIM card was messing up. Oh. So I totally detached. My oh, nice. And my daughter took all the pictures. Uh -huh. And I think one of these days I want to just uh, hook up on her Instagram story mm -hmm. and show some of the beautiful scenery because a lot of people may not have seen these things in Thailand. It's a beautiful country, beautiful people. They call it the land of the smiles. Oh, really? Because the people just have this very warm disposition you know mm -hmm. it's wonderful mm -hmm. yeah it's part of the old world i really do believe that uh, our ancient ancestors in that area of the world uh, i think well you know that whole polynesian not polynesian but that whole uh, west indies thing is really a land that was sunk so now we have lots of islands there. We have Thailand, right. which is the main thing. But if you go farther south, Malaysia, yeah, Malaysia is all those islands. And I, I really do believe that that was a whole continent before, where most of probably all our ancient artifacts are still, you know, probably all around the world too. Who, who knows? But I just thought I'd throw. Well, that do in. you want to know? I had. 23 massages in 23 days. Oh, nice. That's the way to do I'm it. I'm telling you, those people just give their hearts, and, you know, it's very affordable. Mm -hmm. It's a big part of, of their, their lifestyle, culture. of yeah. their culture. Another thing, too, is uh, I've had Thai massages before now. Is that... I introduced you to that guy that was yes, uh, part of that. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's, I, I'm, I've, his name slips my mind, but mm -hmm. I've been thinking about him because I'm like, I'm hooked now. Well, I is, love is, it. Is that what they do most, mostly, the yeah. Thai massage, which is massage with stretching? It really is, and usually you're fully clothed, mm -hmm. and and they're they're working on getting the body to release adhesions and so forth. Right. And for example, uh, one Thai bot equals you, know, uh, you get 32 Thai bot for one dollar. Wow! So uh, a Thai massage, an hour Thai massage was 250 to 300 baht. So do the math there. Wow! Eight to ten bucks. Wow! No wonder you had it every day. That's exactly right. Some days we did twice. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's true. Yeah, Thai massage is really good because uh, I use a method called active isolated stretching. I know you do, and that's why I think the Thai massage is like a combination. It's the best of both worlds. It's, yeah, you've got somebody that's getting you through those motions and then massaging you at the same time, and the best of both worlds, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cool. And I will tell you, too, uh, I truly enjoyed the Thai cuisine. Mm -hmm. We took a cooking class and learned how to cook Thai curries and mm -hmm. they make, use a big wok most mm -hmm. of the time a big that? wok and, yep. and uh, the big mortise and pestle mm -hmm. yep. and uh, so made papaya salad and, yeah. and, and we learned about the four flavors you know okay. salty spicy mm -hmm. sweet or sour and they want all of those flavors don't they, they absolutely do and that, I think that's what makes Thai food so great yeah, yeah. and um, my favorite part uh, were the two places Bangkok not so much too mm -hmm. crowded too big city for sure. me 
Sure. Um, but, I mean, I enjoyed everything I did. Mm -hmm. uh, my daughter arranged it. She did an awesome job of just covering everything. Well, she's that type of person. She has uh, fine details. She's, she's like her mama, too. She yeah. has a little wild, wild wanderer yeah. hair. Well, which is good. And her, one of her best friends went with us, so it was just super. But I really love the islands, mm -hmm. uh, Koh Tao and uh, Koh Samui. Mm -hmm. which are the islands that are sort of midway down on the inside. And we, but we went all the way down to PB Islands, everywhere. We were, we really, actually our whole trip, we were on 10 planes. Wow. Three, you know, three, three flights plane. on the way over, mm -hmm. and then uh, we did four flights in the country. It's a big country. Yeah, it is a big you country. It's a big, long country. Right. Uh, how did you get uh, around besides airplanes? Did you, uh, what, what, was there Uber over there? Or what's, what's they have something over there, but we didn't use it. We mostly just used taxis and tuk-tuks. Tuk-tuks? Which are these little, um, like converted motorcycles that you know two to four people can sit on. Oh, really? Yeah. I've seen uh, some videos of that too. Yes. Yeah. That's taking the place of the guy who used yeah, to. Yeah, exactly. Like know. the old thing that you yeah. think of from Asia, where yeah. he was running. It's kind of the same same concept. Yeah. Well. But I really, um, I really love the people there. They're so sweet, and I highly recommend it if you get a chance to uh, trample around Southeast Asia. Put Thailand on your list. The water was beautiful. I love snorkeling. So what I'd like to do um, is maybe on a couple of shows show you guys some some very pretty videos. My sure. daughter did a little short. Maybe like we'll just take a last segment or something and get on her Instagram page because I literally think she took the best pictures. Sure. I'll show you a couple. Well, let's arrange snapshots. that. And, uh, I'd love to see them because uh, I'm I'm a world traveler myself. I love to travel even though I don't go much out of the United States. And I literally got I literally got back Sunday, Nico, yeah. and had to go up to work on my Aga oh, appliance. Right. Yeah, my forward growth appliance and that's I'm making progress there. So good. Okay, so we'll uh, be back right after the break. Uh, this is a good time to pick up the Primal Edge, our one-shot wonder. It's only $89. You can sign up right here on the TFNN.com web page. And, of course, you can always get the uh, health signals newsletter there, too. We'll so be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. 
An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. C call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This must be an important transmission coming in. Hey, um, Nico and I were talking about my trip to Thailand before we went on break. And while I was there, I did as the Thai do. And I enjoyed my Pad Thai and um, enjoyed the, the, the cuisine of the, na of the native people. Mm -hmm. And so that meant I ate quite a bit of carbs. I had mango sticky rice quite a few nights. Mm -hmm. I had, um, you know, the Pad Thai noodles and, and I lost weight, you know. so. I learned a lot from Jack Cruz that when you eat the food of the native population and you're in a good sun environment, you can have the carbs. And their weather never really changes. It goes from hot and dry mm -hmm. to hot and, hot and wet. We mm -hmm. were just entering the dry, dry season. Mm -hmm. But we're coming into the season of the winter here yep. and the holidays. And I found this article, the keto diet might actually make it easier to maintain your weight loss. And I think we need to think about what really a keto diet uh, entails. It really is a, is a period of using stored body fat or fat as fuel, right? Right, right. Uh, whether you call it the keto diet or the Atkins diet or the Whole30 diet. Or, or a primal diet primal. or a paleo diet. The it whole idea really is the, the, it's the, a degree. The, yeah, well, the, the distinction with keto is that there, you're actually measuring your ketones either by with a pee strip or a breathalyzer or some kind of drawing blood, whatever the case may be. That's the real distinction. And keto kind of says that maybe you should cut out more carbs mm -hmm. than maybe Atkins or maybe, you know, everybody has a different mind on it. But I always uh, like to look at, you know, look at the animals that eat grass and things like that and look how they look and then look at the ones that eat meat. them, the right. meat, and, and look how, how they look. They look. Because the bigger, bigger animals are all the ones that are eating all the foliage and everything like that. So, and, and they're ruminants, they're made to do that, and they're a heavy, usually a heavy bodied thing. Even an ape that eats a bunch of bananas, look at him. Right, and you, when we're talking about the gorilla, that's a huge one. And we're talking about chimpanzees, there's a little mix in there because they do eat meat and they also eat bugs and things like that. But let's talk about it. We're going into the winter in most of the world above the equator. Mm -hmm. uh, there's frost. There's mm -hmm. snow. So there are not leafy green salads. I don't think this is the time of year to be eating a ton of salads. Well, that's true. Uh, and in our modern world, of course, right now we have access to all this stuff. We can get anything we want. That's and right. that's the circadian seasonal mismatch that mm -hmm. um, has impressed me so much with what I've learned from uh, Dr. Jack Cruz about uh, eating a banana, as I ate in Thailand, is, mm -hmm. a, is a mismatch if you are in Boston in December. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> so. and I agree with you 100% on this. So, but, so let's talk about it. Maybe if you haven't done it yet, this would be a great time to think about moving towards a more ketogenic uh, eating scenario because a new study published in the journal of the british medical journal found that low carb diets may be the best way to maintain or even lose weight yeah and the study which was published in that journal uh, followed 164 overweight or obese people and the researchers had them lose about 15 percent of their weight uh, put them all different diets so uh, the ones that did the keto diet uh, the atkins style diet lost more weight was easier for them to keep off and we always say the reason for that is because you're pretty much satisfied with what you're doing and therefore you don't get hungry and on you know when you're eating fat fat is the thing that makes you happy yes uh, sugar makes you not happy I would say it makes you constantly wanting more it's a kind of heroin type of drug it's a poison to the body that the, po the body doesn't want so it gets rid of it in two ways burning it 
as much as it can. By storing and, it and, as or fat. Or storing it as fat. And the whole idea is we really, um, we really want to make our bodies utilize the existing fat we've got. We've got a lot of caloric storage on our bodies. Well, Most of us do anyways, more than well, we would sure like we to have. And one of the reasons of that is that's where we store our toxins. Mm -hmm. So if we can get those toxins out at the same time, and that's what usually happens. And, and you and I always teach people they want to bind them. So we burn them, but bind them. So you right. can burn them bind. Get right. it, get it, guys. Binding means you uh, cover them up, kind of, and get them out of your body. That's where right. a lot of people have the that feeling of kind of a keto. They call it a keto flu because in reality they're actually burning toxins as they're burning their fat, and it may make them feel a little off. So yeah. you know, you and I like to recommend clays and and uh, charcoal to kind of help with that. But mm -hmm. um, yeah. you know, I, I think the key thing is is this is a great time to be eating less. And if you think about the Christmas holidays, uh, we're probably eating all the wrong things well, in terms of our... Well, I was talking on the last show that they, we have our little favorites. Mm -hmm. And they, they, this is the time of year that they really crop up, that pumpkin yes. pie or the, the stuffing. And, you know, most of these things that are warm and fuzzy to us are probably carbohydrate-related, yes. really high in carbs. But what does a bear eat when he's sleeping? No sugars. No. No, he ate, he ate fruit right before he went to sleep, right? Yeah, exactly. That's why in the summer you eat your fruit, so you actually put on your fat stores. Yeah. And then what you do is you burn your fat stores. So I personally am going to exp experiment more with uh, keto and uh, autophagy, which we're going to talk more about in the next couple of shows, burning my own fat. I'm going to try and be like a big bear during the winter. and. Um, Kind of cute bear, though. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> and, and, and try and utilize uh, that fuel switch. Because I definitely made a fuel switch while I was in Thailand. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I did okay there because I had the right light cycles. Well, also... I was in an were... equatorial area. Yeah, and also you are probably doing a lot of walking, a oh, lot yeah. of sightseeing. Swimming, and, snorkeling. And not so much on the food as you would be as if you were at home and planning the next meal. When you're out and about, you go until you say, hey, let's have some to eat. Well, you know, for me, I am finding... Um, my grandmother used to say, you know, don't take yourself so seriously. And I don't want to stress out about food. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be as, in fact, I feel like dogmatic uh, approach can be really detrimental. It can be boring too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw a video and I'm gonna, I, I think I sent it to you, but if I didn't, I'm gonna do it on a break. It's, um, it's a three or four series and it's showing uh, some of the health issues, just a video version of people who, have adopted a vegan diet, and I think dangerously for even their children, mm. and, and, and the marked difference in their appearance and some of the symptoms they're having, both physically and mentally, and I think it really causes us to realize that any diet taken to extreme may not be beneficial because you may be missing nutrients from one particular food group. Mm -hmm. And that's always been the premise of the Weston A. Price Foundation. Uh, Sally Fallon says, yes, you can if you know, yes, you can eat a banana if it's in season, right? Yeah. Yes, you can if you prepare it right. If you look at some of these traditional videos, and uh, remember that uh, Chinese girl or lady that I was following. Oh, we love her. I've been watching her. I turned yeah, my friends and, onto uh, it. The other day I was watching her make, and I didn't know what she was making. I wish they put her name, give her a name like uh, June Doe or something yeah, so we could call her. But you know? she, was, she was having this, uh, it looked like fruit or whatever it was. I don't know what it was, but she was pounding it and then sifting it and pounding it and sifting it, then letting it set for overnight, and then she'd pound it and sift it again. And at the end of the whole thing, and this was about 20, 30 minutes of her showing two or three days of work, they were making noodles. Yeah. yeah. And they were doing all this prep. So all this prep was doing for noodles, mm -hmm. a staple in, the, in those countries. And right. It's a, it's a fantastic extender that takes on the flavor of the foods that you're fixing. And because they use those four cents, you know, four, four types of taste, yes. they can actually, I mean, it, it's fabulous. And they're in the right light environment. They're in an equatorial, full light. As Jack's told us, we have more carbs when we have more light when we get in the sun. So. You would think about making noodles in, into what she All was that making. It. It's kind of the same thing that that cow is doing in their stomach. Right. You know, turning it over, moving into the other stomach. They're not pounding. I would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. 
Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418 8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com let him know you heard him on tfnn and save up to 100 dollars on a special package just for tfnn listeners act today the taz profile scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence as you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz order page at tfnn.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Well, 56 years old. <laughs> Finish your great story. Okay, so <laughs> well, I was talking about the Chinese girl and what she was doing to make the noodles, and uh -huh. you know that was a few days preparation. A lot of effort. It, it is, and it kind of simulates what the cow is doing themselves. They're chewing all the stuff, breaking it down, shoving it into a chamber, letting it sit there for a while, moving it back to another chamber where it gets you know, um, f broken down further, moving it back, and that's kind of, uh, in my mind how the cow is doing it, what she's doing it. Mm -hmm. So they're actually looking at nature to solve the problem of this particular food, which normally would be a weight gainer. It would be something that would probably bring on some things that wouldn't be good because it's too high in sugar. But when you break it down and ferment it and let it set for a while, right. then it works with other food and extends your food. It's a smart way to go. Right, and it's and like I said, in areas where there's equatorial sun, having more carbs in your diet is, is understandable. It like, makes more sense. When we went to the elephant, <clears throat> I, I know you saw the pictures of the elephant. Yes, I, I mean, did. when we went to the elephant sanctuary and we fed the elephants, uh, we learned about a certain banana that they grow in that um, that northern part of Thailand. That's a smaller banana. They come on that little fan shape, and they're small. Mm -hmm. And well, bananas all were small. We we cultivate them to be larger. Right. Yeah. And he says that our country won't accept their bananas because the skin is not tough enough. So in other words, they don't, you know, they're damaged easily. Yeah. So we won't take them. But to the Thai people, they'll eat two to three of these a morning and that it's good for their digestion. And, you know, I actually tried that a couple mornings because, mm -hmm. you know, I've, sh you know, I tend shy from starchy carbs and so forth. And I loved it while I was there. I just took away all my, you know, stress of it. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm in an equatorial region. I'm going to eat as they do. And I felt great. But mm -hmm. as I was saying, I think now we're in our winter, our cold time. And 
moving towards a ketogenic diet is basically saying, let's burn our fat, which is the same thing a hibernating bear does in the winter. Mm -hmm. And one of my suggestions to you, and what I'm going to be doing, is we need sunlight, and we need to be in, the, in, in, in rhythm with the natural sunrise and sunset. And all the people I coach, I teach them to get up and be part of the sunrise and, and get out, get that infrared for the sunset. But I'm going to suggest ordering like a neck wrap an ice neck wrap, mm -hmm. and putting it in your freezer, and in the mornings when you get up and you're doing your sunrise time, put that neck wrap around your neck. I mean, some of you are already in a pretty cold climate. You, you and take you can one go. of the long socks and you put rice in it. Oh, yes. And you tie it at the end, put it in your freezer, and that works the same oh, way. Oh, that's a super way to do yeah. it. I bought one of those ones, those blue felt, you know, physical yeah. therapy ones, but that's a great idea. Yeah. Big, like, big, because yeah. it'll mold to your neck. Exactly. But um, there's a great video that shows that most of our brown fat cells are right here near the clavicle. Oh, really? So when we wrap it around our neck and do that, we're actually really stimulating the brown fat. And that really f feels good. I mean, it's kind of like uh, waking up in the morning and jumping in a river. It is. And, and, and if you've got a pool and you can do that or start working on your CT, uh, the winter is a great time to do your CT. It's great to do it all, all the time. I've been um, jumping in my pool on a daily basis. You know, it just went up to 70 in the last mm -hmm. couple of days. But now that it's 40s out, it's going to when it gets to 68 and below, I can really feel the difference. But even at 70, because I'm at 104 mm -hmm. in the spa, cooking for about 10 minutes, doing my breathing exercise, then when I jump in, Boy, I'm already, I, my breathing is really good. You know, I'm mm -hmm. thinking of... Uh, uh, I remember how we showed that video uh, last year about the little Russian school children who yeah. take their clothes off yeah. at recess, yeah. and they go play in the snow, yeah. half naked. Pretty and cool. that's because the Russian people know that cold stimulates the immune system. Sure. So cold and burning fat and lowering the carbs because a bear doesn't have... Uh, bananas or, or gorgeous green salads. And, you know, I, I kind of chuckle. I look at some of the little health coaches and stuff, people that I know, and they're posting all these pictures of all these, I call them summer fruits and salads, and I'm like, it's not the time. Right. Let's let's give those root vegetables. If you're advice. going to have a carb, you know, let's do that. But let's talk about some of our so animal fats. Yeah, and let's talk about what the, happened with this uh, research, because basically the researchers found that the people in the low-carb group did better at maintaining weight loss than everybody else. On the average, they burned over 250 calories more than the people on the high-carb diet. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and the reason they're you know they're eating just as much bulk. It, they're just eating in a different form, and that allows you to burn your own fat because you're already burning the fat that you're eating. That's an automatic kind of thing that happens. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, when you're kind of running low on the fat, the fat is still there. The yes. body doesn't know the, really the difference between the fat that you just ate and the fat that's in the body. Start taking over working on your body because you're already burning fat there's no nothing you know if you if you're on carbs and you try to burn fat you have to exercise like crazy to do that mm -hmm. it's That's a, true. It, so it makes no sense it really doesn't from a standpoint of healthy living it doesn't make sense I want to burn fat so now I have to exercise an hour I think that's kind of fading out it I is. think that whole that are learning, static yeah. cardio, uh, we, we, we want to move towards more burst training. And, and I think following so. the seasons and really keeping the common sense that we want to eat what's in season. And when we do that, uh, I think Mother Nature kind of provides the necessary, the right foods for us at the right time. Well, there's a, uh, uh, we went to our uh, Christmas uh, dinner from mm -hmm. my uh, wife's firm. Right. And there was a guy there. I didn't even recognize the guy. And he was maybe 120 pounds lighter. Hmm. And he looked really good and looked like, you know, he's been working out. So him and I had a chat, and after a while I says, and now I kind of recognize you, now that I'm talking to you. I says, how did you start on this? So he gave me the kind of the story that he really wanted to change his life. You mm -hmm. know? So working out with weights, which is uh, one of the ways that you can do that. You can do it other ways, too. But uh, the way he was eating was uh, eating the six meals a day, uh, eating, you know, carbohydrates, because you need that to work out. That's the... Uh, thing in the gym. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. And he asked me how I was eating, and I said, "Well, this, I've been eating this way about ten years, and I eat mostly fat, you know, and good fat, and very little carbs." And and I explained to him the difference being that on, you know, you can run all day on uh, on the fuel with fat, but mm -hmm. the carbs run out. Then you have to eat. That's, and that's why, why you're, you're eating six that's times. That's why a day. you're eating six Remember times. Remember that a day. book, Life Without Bread. 
Yeah. That's what, that book explains that whole philosophy. Yeah. Really and I well. says, with me, I eat breakfast and I eat dinner, and sometimes mm -hmm. I'll skip one. And, right. and there's no effect as far right. as my brain is concerned. Yes. Whereas you I'm skip the same. one of those, one meal or two even, then you start going crazy. He says, Yeah, I noticed that. He says, But for me, this is the way that I do it. I says, well, I understand that. I says, D you know. Well, maybe for him, he's cutting out a lot of uh, foods that were not good for no him. No doubt. And sure. so, if he's going to healthy six times a day, then maybe he can start to eliminate those yeah. by increasing the the fats he has in those foods. So he has that ability yeah. to to last. Yeah, and he said, well, it sounds like that's a, probably a better way. And somewhere along the line, I'm going to have to switch to that. And that's yeah. where, where we kind of left it. But I think it was very interesting. You know, we can lose weight a lot of different ways, but to do it healthy and sustainable. I really do believe the keto diet and the low carb diet is the way to go because this is what our ancestors did and this is how uh, our genetic makeup is. That's right, Nico. Well, I want to um, go to this seven little known dangers of drinking flavored sparkling water. I think a lot of people may have seen some some publications or some things in the news about LaCroix water and yeah. not being so healthy. Yeah, a lot of people are drinking this kind of stuff. Yeah, and you know, again, it gets frustrating, doesn't it? You go <laughs> from, you know, you, you help your people go from drinking, you know, high fructose corn syrup Cokes, and they think they're making better choices, but what's actually going on with these? And, um, you know, maybe a better choice would be to make your own sparkling waters with uh, where you add the flavors yourself. Well, yeah, and you stick to the citrus, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So we'll kind of talk about a little bit about what's going on and why these might be uh, something you want to avoid. Stick with us. Pick up the Health Signals newsletter. Pick up some Primal Edge, and we'll be right back. That's right. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the X. SAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great 
long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN. TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. All right, so let's talk about this some water, because uh, I was talking the other day about liquor. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I drink liquor, I drink it straight, yes. you know, unless it's beer. But, uh, and the reason is, is because if I put a flavor to it, it tastes too good, and I drink it too fast. Well, and there I, you go. So you yeah, kind of... Yeah, and I want to, you know, so the thing about liquor... So you won't even, like, squeeze a lime in it or no, something? No, no. Not a natural flavor? No. Oh, no. I just think I would just say, forget about water. it. Yeah? Yeah. I, I, I mean, I'll add water to a little scotch or something like that. I like the I taste just, of plain yeah. water, but I also like my citrus. But, you know, flavoring sparkling water drinks, <laughs> it's kind of gained enormous uh, popularity recently. I sure think does. there's a line called Hint. I mean, don't you wish, though, sometimes you came up with those ideas, a hint of something, and now she's got a million-dollar company? <laughs> but uh, it's actually, you'd be hard-pressed to find a grocery store that mm. isn't stocked with these different flavored waters. And they're super refreshing, and... Um, but there's some little known dangers of drinking flavored sparkling waters that we want to kind of bring up to you guys. And uh, there are a few ingredients that you may want to double check to make sure they're not in the bottles that you're buying. That's for sure. And uh, this applies to a lot of drinks. I mean, yeah, we're, we're not we... bashing but fuzzy, bubbly drinks. Um, no, I think it's fine. I like sparkling mineral water. I think mm -hmm. it's very refreshing and yeah. a great option. Yeah, you know? no doubt about it. But it, the flavors are the thing, and this is why I don't like sodas, and this is why I don't like the fruit juices, and this is the reason I don't like flavored coffees, because these flavors are usually not good for usually you. Usually the flavors are, are trying to keep you hooked. Yeah, in a sense. They yeah. uh, definitely probably keep you hooked, but the ingredients are usually made out of, uh, uh, you know, starches and corn syrup or... Uh, right. And I've used uh, the sparkling waters as a way to get people off of sodas. I mean, yeah. I personally, I can't believe anybody regularly drinks sodas anymore. Yeah, and they do. And, I mean, and if they were, at least buy them from Mexico where they're using real cane sugar instead of the high fructose corn syrup. That's mm -hmm. a whole other thing. I know you hate sugar, but they'll repeat stuff in me, you know. Well, no, I think sugar is probably better than the uh, high fructose corn syrup oh, and those yeah. other things. I mean, the body yeah. knows how to process yeah, exactly. that. Exactly. But, um, you know, a lot of these companies are using things that may not be great. You, you want to read the nutrition label a little more carefully because some of these ingredients can be concerning, and these brands add these ingredients. They're not healthy, and uh, they're creating maybe some other problems. One of the problems you might find is tooth decay. Occasionally, sipping on a plain carbonated water won't give your dentist much to worry about, but flavoring such as citric acid or other fruit acids can lead to tooth erosion or the incremental dissolving away of the enamel on the teeth. That's something we don't need, especially as we get older. We want to keep all that enamel. That's for sure, because the, the, those things can definitely, it's a, and the, the, they may be worse than the sugar uh, for, for the enamel. Exactly. You know, the chemical structure of them. They may also have some added sodium, and we know that the, when they're adding the sodium, they're not, they're not adding the healthy sodiums that we know that the full-spectrum natural salts. They're using a chemical, uh, highly heated sodium, and that may uh, also, you know, interfere with your health. And another thing is you might experience bloating and gas. Uh, sometimes that balance, can, it can throw you off. It can create, especially at the holidays, you're eating all kinds of different foods, combining them differently. Yeah, and they might be putting too much carbonate in it. You know, mm -hmm. use carbon dioxide for that, uh, which really, you know, we expel and try to get rid of, so probably not well, a good we, thing. Well, no, we need carbon. Oh, we need that's it, That's an sure. interesting conversation for us to talk about. It's really important to have carbon dioxide in the blood. Uh, but, but again, it's like everything. I think you could overdo it yeah. if you become addicted to them like so many people yeah. do. And the other thing is the added minerals and vitamins that they put in here, which usually come in a chemical form and not a natural form because it's much easier to add it that way. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the artificial sweetener That's overload. That's the is, thing that I get thing. concerned about. I think that they're using a lot of artificial sweeteners that, and as you start to get addicted to these, next thing you know, uh, you're, you're, oops, my fault this time. <laughs> oh. um, boy, we both had our... 
our phone thing this morning, didn't we? It's the cold. I blame it on the cold. Yeah. It's throwing us off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even so know where it's thing, at. Go ahead. The other thing is the, the six natural flavor intake. If natural flavors are listed on your water's ingredient list, then just uh, note that it can mean a lot of different things. Natural flavors can mean something as simple as the essential oil of a product that's been heated. But it can also mean flavor added chemicals from artificial sources, which the manufacturers don't have list on their labels as additives because they might contain a partial natural element. So they skirt the, the uh, ingredients by saying natural flavors when you don't yeah, know. Yeah, what really is natural? Uh, yeah, yeah exactly. they, that word has been really uh, taken advantage exactly. of. Yeah. And it's a way you're getting extra added calories. Yeah, it's only um, seven calories, but if you're eating this and uh, honing down on it all day long, then uh, probably you might have 100 or 200 extra yeah, calories. Yeah, you might there. be surprised. Some of these flavored sparkling uh, drinks contain 150 calories and 33 grams of sugar each. That can really be kind of whack into it. And the danger really is, is that it can whack your sugar content in your blood out mm -hmm. where all of a sudden you're producing insulin. And we know that insulin stops fat burning. Mm -hmm. And it puts you into a whole different realm of making it hard to get back to the fat burning. Mm -hmm. I agree. But, yeah, so it's uh, you may not get back to fat burning unless you're exercising like crazy for an hour, or whether you're eating something really nicely balanced later on that right. might put you back into ketosis. And it is refreshing to have like some sparkling mineral water. Just take it as it is. You know, why do we always have to mess with everything? Well, your body gets used to what you normally take. So if you uh, get on the bandwagon, then uh, it's very easy to convert your body over and saying this is something that I like because you're doing it all the time. It's that first area uh, of, uh, you know, that we get into trouble. This tastes good. Uh, I might have 10 of these, you know. Yeah, exactly. Oh, have another piece of pie, please. <laughs> you know, that's what happens. Well, I, I'm... Um I've been doing a little bit of reading, Nico, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, what we've seen with the pharmaceutical industry constantly looking for another big player for them, mm -hmm. it seems that they just never stop with trying to come up with something. And, and the question is, I think we all understand that the FDA is not really working for the people. It's working for... The, farm, well, the, the industry. I mean, I think sure. that's pretty well, common that knowledge. Well, that is the, I think, uh, the unspoken rule in there is that the FDA is helping commerce. Right. So, I mean, and helping commerce, when I mean, you're getting the stuff to the people. Mm -hmm. And these manufacturers need an outlet to do that, and they need to ensure the to the public that what they're doing is safe, and that's what the FDA says. Hey, here's a product for you. We've tested it. It's safe. No problem. But... When the scales of justice go, is this safe or is this going to be worth a lot of money? Who, who do you think the FDA uh, leans towards? Well, it's not just the FDA. In our, we have a policy, and now Donald Trump says it, you know, money before anything, before the killing, before anything. You know, that guy in uh, Saudi Arabia that, uh, you know, in, in Turkey he was killed. And he says, well, yeah, he might, he might have done it, he might not have done it. But the, the most important thing is we have a trade agreement with these people. We'll lose a lot of money. So this mm -hmm. is the standard now that's set. Oh, you, you've got a different slant on the story, but that's the problem. The we've problem got a device. We, become, we've got a device of media that creates a little different explanation of the story. Well, you can explain it any way you want. The thing is, is money comes first and before health, before uh, any standard of living, before any of our, uh, you know, Christian values. Mm -hmm. We have Christian values that say such and such, but if the money is more important then the values go well, away. Well, this really is a good example of it, Nico, and we're, we're going to have to go to a break, but I want to talk about this. This was in Green Med Info. The FDA approves a painkiller that's a thousand times more powerful than morphine, despite the epidemic of drug overdoses and the availability of natural alternatives that probably work better and are safer for the people. What's up with that? I think Nico's right. I think it's all about the money. Yep. But uh, we'll give you a little highlight about this so you can watch out for it. We'll be right back after this short break. I'm certain you 
are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! TFNN has put together the best lineup of live content for traders by traders every market day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected minds in the business. TFNN broadcasts five days a week live from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We have live programming every market day during market hours. Every morning, Larry Pesavento kicks off the trading day live at 9 a.m. and breaks down the opening bell with Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour, followed at 11 a.m. by the team at TD Ameritrade and Thinkorswim with Fast Market. Basil Chapman hosts the Tiger Technicians Hour at noon, Steve Rhodes at 1 p.m. with the Trader's Edge, Dave White at 2 p.m. with the Power Trading Hour, and Tom O'Brien anchors the daily lineup from 3 till 5 as host of the Tom O'Brien Show. Tune in to TFNN's Tiger TV on your computer or mobile device, and you can always find us streaming on YouTube. TFNN.com, educating investors. So in an extremely irresponsible move, the FDA just approved a painkiller a thousand times stronger than morphine, despite the fact that the U.S. is already experiencing a deadly opioid drug crisis that takes over 100 lives a day. And it was November 2nd, U.S. regulators approved fast-acting, extremely potent opioid tablet 10 times more powerful than fentanyl called desuvia it's kind of supercharged fentanyl they call it mm. and fentanyl is very very dangerous it's uh, what the people go to if they can't get the heroin mm -hmm. yeah well and uh you know this has been uh, the whole history of our country and drug running it's i think a lot of stuff's going to get released pretty soon yeah maybe that we're going to find out uh that it's going to be quite shocking that um, you know, at the highest levels of our government, the the, the drug, the what we think are legal drugs are really there's a lot of illegal stuff going on behind it. Well, a lot of wars and things, uh, you know, things that we don't like to talk about are financed by drugs and arms. This has been the way it always has been. Well, let me tell you what makes this drug approval all the more concerning is the fact that natural evidence-based alternatives for pain already exist. And in fact, we report on a recent study published in the European Journal of Internal Medicine, which found that medical cannabis was superior to opiate drugs for chronic pain. And this goes on and on. Nico, I've been sharing. You guys know if you get our newsletter, you can use a coupon where you can get $50 off uh, some CBD, which is legal in all states yep. and can really help lower the inflammation and help with the chronic pain. Yep. 
Helps but, most people. I found a few that it doesn't help, but I found 99% of the time it, it helps you. But there's great research. Uh, uh, Edward Green Med Info, they've got a study titled Medical Cannabis Superior to Opiates for Chronic Pain. So I think where a lot of people get wrong is they, they're looking for that immediate acute pain thing. It's really like a building up yeah. to get the chronic pain relief. Yeah, and the chronic pain relief with uh, cannabis is nice because the CBDs are the thing that actually helps you, and then the THC enhances the CBD. It's so funny because yeah. actually if you look at the research, like most of the tumor. really a miracle benefits mm -hmm. are the CBD. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and the, and the THC is what boosts it all. Exactly. About 10 times to 100 times more. So that's the show. It went so fast. My it goodness. sure did. I'm, I'm so glad to be back. We'll talk more about yeah. Thailand and other things to help keep you healthy. Stay with us. We'll see you. See you next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Bye-bye. Have a great day. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletter.